We have our trees. Oh, sick. You know what we're doing right now? Is we are going ahead and we are building ourselves some shit. I'm going to take some painkillers here. Ooh, welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die on my PS4. So today is day 19. We have some stuff to do around home first. But to uh, what we're going to do first here today, guys, is... Oh, fuck. We're not going to take that sand. We're actually going to use up our concrete here. So our first level, level of this entire place is only Adobe right now. We've only been able to upgrade it to Adobe. So I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to throw some concrete on that bad boy and make my walls just a little bit stronger. Now, I haven't had really much... Uh, much trouble with any zombies coming and hitting the walls themselves, but whatever, right? It's always good to upgrade. Now, um, upgrading here, you have to upgrade once, and then this is concrete. Uh, so once you got that concrete, you can upgrade it again. I did that um, accidentally. Uh, you can upgrade it again into wet concrete, which then turns into reinforced concrete. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, this uh, now this endeavor gets incredibly expensive. So make sure that you have your house exactly how you want it to look uh, before you do your upgrading. Now, of course, if you're building your own base, the easiest way to do this is literally to take some frames and fill them in uh now guys remember how i was telling you about how there's a weird balance of alpha 16 and alpha 15 and alpha 14 concepts uh they're all in here uh now when you do place a rebar frame instead now now it's even cheaper to use rebar frames guys instead of making concrete blocks uh because now when you have a rebar frame instead of using wood it just upgrades fully to reinforce concrete so you can go from uh, from a rebar frame, which is really cheap. I mean, if we look at rebar frames in the forge here, whoops, I don't have stairs there anymore. Uh, if we go take a look at the rebar frames in the forge, I'll show you guys this because this is a very common question. Oh, why bother making frames when you could just make concrete blocks? Well, you guys seen the amount of effort it takes to make concrete, right? Um, especially if you don't have sand. You got to make the sand. You got to turn um, like a stack of stone into sand. Then you got to take that sand, twice the amount of stone and the mix to turn that into concrete. So you're going to need 20 of those compared to just making one rebar frame, which if it comes up here, where's our rebar frame? So there we are. Rebar frame, five iron, one clay. Look at that. Like, I just make 43 right there, and I just had this forge running for a little bit. But yeah, guys, like it's so much cheaper to make your rebar frames than it is to make shitloads of concrete, like hands down, anytime. Uh, concrete's expensive as fuck, guys, so if there's any way you can use less of it, that's the better way. Uh, so we're going to go and continue upgrading this house here because we really, really need it. You know what? I'm going to jump down here. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is just make myself a small farm out front here for now. Get it all fertilized, and then we should have plants going, because I do want to make, like, meat stew and stuff, and I, I do want to make better drinks so I can get my wellness back up. Because yesterday, fucking dogs, they got us. No, not yesterday, but the dogs have gotten us. Pain in the ass. Oh, my god. It is day 19. I'm really excited for the day 21 horde here, guys. Uh, but building. Building is my favorite thing to do. That's, that's like, hands down the one thing I incredibly enjoy. Uh, now, guys, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to go and finish upgrading this building, and I'll see you guys once I finished uh, or ran out of concrete. One or the other. I'll probably run out of concrete first. Okay, one thing I noticed as well too, guys, it, it only takes seven concrete to upgrade these ones to concrete. Wow, look at that, only seven. And then to upgrade it to the next layer, it's 10. Wow, that is so weird. So it's 17 to upgrade and an adobe block all the way to concrete. I just learned something, that's really odd. Anyways, okay, so I just ran on the concrete. There's one little block on the wall there. That I can't do. Damn it, that's going to annoy the shit out of me. So that whole stack of concrete, guys, basically just wrapped up this entire place in the first level of concrete. I still have some to go. I have to do these pulls. Um, I don't like to do pull, but in this game, it is very necessary to do pull. Uh, we have to do these pulls here. I have to get along the bottom where these spikes are as well. Oh my god, that's going to take quite a bit of concrete. But it feels good to get that done. We got the uh, the concrete in. So let's go back upstairs. Um, what we have to do now is actually take a look. I should have some forged iron going on. So we should be okay there. 
I'm also going to take a painkiller because I keep jumping on the, uh, the the traps here trying to get the shit done. And I'm also going to drink a red tea because these all have those wellness effects to them, right? So you may as well make yourself a little bit of a better of a drink uh, and get that little bit of a bonus out of it. So let's head over to our food box here. And holy crap, does this ever dry fast on console? Holy shit, is that ever quick? Okay, cool. So let's go over to our food box over here. I don't have my headlamp on. And we are going to take a look at stuff I have. So we have a corn seed. That's good. I swear I had a potato. Did I not have a potato yet? Damn it, I don't even have potatoes yet, guys. That is unfortunate. And goldenrod. Okay, well, that's all I have for now. We're going to have to keep an eye out for potatoes and goldenrod and all that happy bullshit um, when we're out and about. But that's okay. Potatoes, potatoes aren't that hard to find. Uh, you know what? I need to grab some first aid kits. We used them all up on that stupid, uh, those stupid dogs that are attacked us right in the middle of the night. Okay, awesome. So for this, we're going to need a hoe. So I'm going to have to go grab some iron up here. Cool, right on. Um, I'm also going to get some more steel going on. Where's my steel at? There you are, steel. Bam. And all the way to the end. There we go. Keep that steel going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead, look at the recipes for these, turn these into seeds, and then we're going to make our hoe. There we go. Nice. So we're going to go tools, traps, and it should be here. So there's only one hoe, um, the iron garden hoe. It's the only one you have to make. It's it's not something that you'll use quite often, uh, but it is what it is. So I'm going to make for uh, wait for this to get made, and I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, well... I'm a big dummy, guys. I just recorded a whole swath of video and forgot to press the record button again. Damn it. So it's day 19. Just to kind of recap what just happened because, well, I can't exactly redo it. Uh, it's day 19. We got a dog horde. But fortunately, I ran up here this time instead of panicking and trying to run in my house. And I was able to take them out on here because the barbed wire slowed the dogs down. Unlike the spikes that don't slow the dogs down, right? So the barbed wire is a good dog defense um just to mention guys day 12 it's dog day now it's not it's not day five anymore you have to wait till day 12 and then every seven days after that is another dog day uh we also went over farming as well too and unfortunately once again i pulled a big dummy and i wasn't recording uh so basically i'll just go over this quickly with you guys here again and if you haven't done so yet guys hit that like button i'm not sure if i've mentioned it already but it does help promote the channel and does help it grow normally i don't care but lately it's been a necessary evil with youtube if you don't interact the video doesn't go anywhere Ugh. anyways okay so it's as you guys can see it's really easy to make this shit all you have to do is make a hole and all i do is hold the button down and just look at the ground and as you can tell the ground is turning brown which means now it's it's tilled land um it just goes flat now there's no curves there's no like raises and ridges on it planting is extremely easy uh, do we have anything on me that i can plant no we do not we have oh here we go we can uh we can plant some moms so i'm gonna go ahead grab a mom here we're going to pick it up, and as you can see, when you pick up a mum from grass, you'll only get one. Uh, but, yeah, because we can make, like, barn... Oh, we can make barn wood. Nice. Um, we're going to craft that. Perfect. So, if you, if you plant a seed and grass, it'll grow back, but it'll only give you one. So, you actually don't get anything out of it. Um, if you plant a seed on your tilled ground, you'll get two per se like we're not saying this is the exact same for every single seed it depends on the numbers it produces uh but if i were to plant this here it'll give me one back right but this fertilized ground over here what i did was i i did i tilled all the ground and then i went and got my fertilizer just so i didn't accidentally fertilize the ground because you guys know how much of a pain in the ass it is to accidentally upgrade another stage when you really didn't want to um, the same goes for farming as well too so I don't keep the fertilizer in my inventory until I'm ready for it uh, but what you're looking at here is fertilized ground so I, I went and put our nine fertilizer into the ground uh, by once again hitting it one more time with a hoe to upgrade it and fertilized ground will give you five times a return so basically like with corn you get one on the grass two in the dirt and five in a fertilized. Um, now, don't quote me on those numbers, but that's just running off the uh, off memory. So you do get a lot more off this fertilized ground. So it is really, really worth to make it. So basically, if you have fertilized ground, your farm can be five times smaller than one without fertilized ground. 
So I like this change because what it did is it made farmland a lot smaller and the need to like have tons of farmland a lot less, which is, which is really nice and I really do appreciate it. Uh, now, what else we've done here is, um, you know, I don't think we caught up. Oh, look, we have a tree, guys. We have, a, oh, we have our trees. Oh, sick. You know what we're doing right now? is we are going ahead and we are building ourselves some shit. I'm gonna take some painkillers here too uh, because I, I've been running all over my traps. Oh my God, did I ever panic when those dogs came, guys? I really wish I had that recorded. Oh, I'm a dummy sometimes. I really wish I had that recorded. Um, oh, sweet, maximum health and stamina went back up. Okay, so, but I was able to get away with them going over there. <laughs> <laughs> finishing thoughts and stuff so what I need to do is try to get this lined up with up there but I'm not feeling so confident about that so we need to get ourselves some frames and what I'm gonna do because like I said personally I'm trying not to nerd pull so I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a, a walk up here and see if we can't get the sink I really hate that uh, we can't get this thing to line up here here we go one here oh you know what I could do just for now Build a wood frame? Ah, it's not really worth it. Okay, so we are at eye level here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fall off. Oh, I'm falling off. You know what I can do? Here we go. This will this will work. Oh, can I put it on the side? Can I put frames on the side of a tree? Uh, apparently not. Oh, yeah, I can. Nice. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to hop up here. This is actually, I think, the level that we need everything at. It is, and it's still beside the tree. That's perfect. So I'm going to put these right here, if we can. Where's the icon? There we go. Wow, that's so weird and annoying. Okay, so I hopefully this doesn't collapse this shit. If it does, it does. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but we're going to go out this way. Oh, nice. Look at that. And we can place one more, and it should be resting on the tree. Um, the only thing that sucks, guys, about this is branches still stay in the way. You're just going to have to fucking deal with it, right? Okay, come here. There we go. Nice. So we now we have... Oh, look at this. We have this across now. Oh, this is going to be so sick. Um, the only unfortunate part, like I said, you can't hack off limbs and stuff, and the, the tree will show through the branches and stuff. But whatever. I mean, it's a $30 Vox game. Like, what the fuck do you guys expect? You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead here, and we're going to make some more of these wood catwalks with railings. And I want to show you guys a trick, because a lot of people are like, you can't build on top of these things. You're stupid, because you put your block on, it goes like that. Um, if you actually take these guys and rotate them, uh, oops, shit rotate them around they actually go upside down here we go if i can yeah we'll do, we'll do it in here so you can see so they actually go upside down so if you really wanted to you can put them upside down and then build on them all right because that kind of works uh same goes with these wood catwalk pieces we're going to craft one of those too here we are you can take these, rotate these suckers all the way upside down, just like that. There you go. And actually make what looks like a train track. Um, I want to make a roller coaster at some point out of these suckers. Just unfortunately... Oh, wait. Do the stairs? Do the stairs have those on the bottom? I don't think they do. Let's take a quick look here. What do the stairs look like? Oops. We'll go back. Oh, no. The stairs, I don't think, are going to have that on the bottom. But we're going to make one just to see if they rotate around funny. This this is just more for me at the moment. Um, yeah, that looks a little awkward. I, I don't think that would work. And I don't think they go upside down either. Or do they? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait, they do. They do. There we go. <laughs> oh, you can still walk up it, up it when it's upside down like that. That's funny. The, those are the most awkward looking stairs ever, but you guys get the point. Yeah, you can turn these each and every way you want to There you go um, Also, too if you notice when you place some these actually place at the bottom of the block So like here how I have the wood walkway actually going on top um, If you rotate these around upside down there you go as you can see the frame actually lines up with the bottom of the block Let's try that again. Come on rotate you little son of a bitch. Here we are. There we go. And as you can see, like it, it totally lines up with the bottom of the block. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's how you can get lined up with other stuff. 
Awesome, guys. So I hope that helped a little bit. I know it wasn't that great of an explanation, but it shows you kind of the, some of the tricks you can do with these uh, wooden catwalks and stuff. And they're exciting to have in the game as well, too. I totally forgot about these, actually. These were a big hit when Alpha 15 came around. Uh, but for some reason, they got uh, they got for forgot about pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen on console here. Um, especially with me, because this, this highway is going to be freaking cool as soon as we're done it. Oh, this is so sick. These trees grow. So these trees, I think, I'm pretty sure the trees sit on the same growth cycle as uh, the plants. So it should be around, I believe, 63 minutes for the trees as well. Yeah, we're going to have to step down here. Another thing I could do as well, too, basically, is make myself planters. Like, if I want to keep these all at the same level, I was thinking about this one as well. Uh, I'm going to have to go around. Oh, wait. I can go here and jump off here where I made these made the support. Let's grab this shit up. Oh, are you hot? Really? You know what? That's okay, though, because I have those uh, red drinks on me. We can have some of that. Now the cool is down a little bit here. So we're going to drink that up. Perfect. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. And the tree supports it, too. So it's just it looks like it's resting through the trees. Uh, so basically, what I can do uh, for these ones, if they're not high enough, uh, they look like they're actually getting pretty close to growing. I don't know how I can tell that, but it's just a feeling I have. Anyways, so... If I need to, I can raise these up to about this level just by building like little planter stands. I, oh, that's going to be so difficult trying to come up with like a natural way of making this look. But that's okay. I love how both of those trees are almost exactly the same too. That's funny. Oh, I'm so looking forward to doing this project. It's just cool kind of seeing these hang off of the edge up there and uh, having another highway. The other highway I built on my last play our playthrough, guys, took me forever ever it looked much nicer i'll give it that it was a lot more effort and it was all building materials but now that we're able to do this i mean come on that just looks fucking cool that looks so cool plant trees wait for them to grow and then make a super highway out of them why not um i wonder if those trees how high up these trees can we go you know what uh can you plant ladders on trees hmm Oh, you can plant ladders on trees. It kind of makes sense, right? If you're able to make a tree for it, you should be able to put ladders on the tree. Uh, but let's see how far up this tree we can actually go. Holy crap. Oh, wow. I didn't think you can go this high up on the trees. This is really high. This kind of reminds me of Ark, but so much better. Okay, let's go another couple up. And I only say that because it's voxelized. It's not, like, standard building components. I've always hated that. I've never liked those games for building at all. All right, here we go. So we're going to go higher up. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, boys. Hey, you know what? You could hide from bears like this. Yeah, guys, actually don't do that in real life. Never climb a tree trying to hide from a bear. They, they can climb trees. So we're going to make a couple more of these. Oh, where, where'd the ladders go? Damn it. There it is. I'm going to make a couple more of these and see if we can't get right up to the top here. This is going to be funky as hell. Oh my god, the tree moving while I'm doing this? It's kind of creepy. Okay, why won't you place? Is this the highest I can go? I think this is the highest we can go here, guys. I don't I don't see, like, the... Um, I'm looking at the tree and stuff, and it looks like the mesh finishes up here. Uh, there's no way to go higher. Now, you could go higher, technically by planting the ladder on top of the ladder, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, but that's really difficult because you can't be in the block that you're placing the ladder, and unfortunately the ladder counts as a block. But holy crap, yeah, you can actually go really, really high with these trees. That is so cool. So we should be good then uh, for the, the highway until I need to lower a bit. But as you can tell, it actually lowers quite a bit and then comes back up over there. So, um, I can't wait to get to the tunnel. The tunnel is going to be really freaking cool. Okay. Awesome guys. It's almost nighttime here. So I'm going to grab myself a, uh, coffee and a, a coffee and do some grinding because we are out of stone. So I'm going to go ahead Go underground and do some more stone digging here. And I'm going to work my way towards this because I eventually want to make a ladder coming up to here. A ladder or, or an elevator. And I'll show you guys how to make an elevator as well. Elevators are freaking cool. Oh, sounds like we got some dog attention here, guys. 
I'm sensed, and I can hear some dogs, but I'm below my horde base, so hopefully my horde base takes care of them. I can hear them, they're in pain. I can't hear them hitting anything. So, yep, they're up there doing their thing. Oh, shit, look at this. Look at this, I'm out of water. Damn it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead, keep digging, and I'll see you in the morning. By the way, I've already gotten a ton of iron, a good amount of stone. What I what I did was I got distracted. I didn't go all the way down in the forge room, uh, but I found a deposit. I started working the deposit up over this way, and I worked through here and managed all this little tiny hole to get... Um, 718 um, iron, uh, 72 crushed sand, 720 nitrate, 503 lumps of coal, and some sand. So ho holy crap, do these things ever put out a lot here, guys. I should actually probably be using a shovel. Uh, now, I don't mind picking up this gravel at all because I need that sand anyways, and I haven't really made a special trip to the desert yet to do a lot of uh, sand grinding. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'll see you nice and early in the morning. I gotta go get myself a drink. Oh, sick. Look at that, guys. Level 49. I'm almost level 50. That's that's kind of a, like a milestone to me. I think level 50s, I don't know. This is one of those levels that you finally get to and you're like, damn. Nice. So, I think we can get minor. Oh, wait. We already have minor 69er all the way up. Wow. Okay. So, we have 23 points here. What can we spend them on? Uh, my minor 69er is up. That is good. Um, our scavenging and stuff. We don't. I don't want to spend points and stuff like this that you naturally naturally level up going um, out and doing. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and check out the other things here. So health stuff, very good to get. So we're gonna go. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go with health. Not what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with uh, stuff like the survivor, uh, so we don't have to eat as often. Uh, the camel. You know what? I'm actually gonna catch the camel up here. There we go. And uh, you know what, for ease of building, I'm actually going to go with quick, quicker crafting now that we're getting up there. Um, I will invest in the fixer once I get an auger or a nail gun or stuff like that because it um, does less damage when you repair your items. Like let's say I repaired this, it was level 264, I repair it, it goes down to level 254. If I had the fixer all the way up to level 5, it would drop down to like 263 instead. So it makes your tools and stuff last long, uh, but in my opinion, it's not really a necessary thing until you get to your end game stuff. Uh, but we're pretty, sitting pretty, uh, pretty well with our skill points here. So I mean, now spending stuff is just all frills. Uh, anyways, guys, it's still only two o'clock in the morning. I have lots of work to do. All right, guys. So I pretty much spent the night here working on this. Um I guess an ore node is the best way to call it. I have uh, still a little bit in here to come pick out. As you can see, there's still some up here. Uh, it's kind of hard to find it sometimes, especially when it gets into like an area like this. Okay, perfect. I got it. And it's morning time. Okay. Okay, Skippy. Stop mining. St I can't stop. I can't st When I get into these mining modes sometimes, I just, I can't stop. I forget what I'm doing. I've actually, on one playthrough, went entire three days before I was like, oh shit, I was making a let's play. Let's cut back in. Anyways, let's find our way home here. Why am I so lost? Why am I so lost? Oh, you know what I can do here? Oh, yeah, this will be cool. What I can do here is we can go ahead and build one of those uh, those bridges. I freaking love those things. The 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 catwalks. There we go. That that's a word I was looking for. Um, so for this one, yeah, you know what? We're gonna do a wood catwalk with railings, and we're gonna make a, a few of them here because I need them anyways for the big massive project. And what we'll do is just kind of bring them right across here. Oh, perfect. That way now, um, when this gets deeper or I dig it out more, it kind of, it, oh, look at that. It even looks like a mine. I think that looks freaking cool as hell. Oops, I made five. Ah, whatever. Whatever. They'll be in my inventory until I use them again. Cool. Okay, perfect. So there we go. Now we have um, a catwalk going over this area and continuing on down the mine. Oh, that is that that is fantastic. I love it. One, two. Oh, look at this. You can even put them in. They even fit in tightly in there. Actually, that looks kind of cool with that little bit of wood running along the bottom there. I like that. That looks neat. Uh, but there we go. Oh, nice. So it looks like a legit mine. Oh, that is so, 
so freaking neat. Okay, so I think, guys, we should probably work on getting some more forges going. Uh, because after Horde Night, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running those forges because we'll have three out and it should be good enough to take care of all those, um, all those screamers. Our next major project is to expand that, uh, Horde Night base and that's going to be quite a bit of work. Also, what I've been doing as well too is I've been slowly making gunpowder as well. Gunpowder takes a while to make. As you can see, it takes 23 minutes to make. So I'm going to dump the rest of this crap in here that we absolutely don't need, like the sand and... Actually, you know what? The mix should go in Yeah, the mix... Yeah, I'll put in the mix with the rest of this stuff here. Um, all my wood frames and everything go in there anyways, so... Holy crap, look at that. We have another 950 iron to stick in there. Holy shit. And iron stacks up to 1200 now, by, by the way, too, guys. I forget if that's changed or not, but it is nice to see. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Wood and everything I can gather while I'm out there so it's not that big of a deal. Um, gunpowder, we're gonna hold on to that because I'm making it. Uh, what gunpowder does is increases uh, increases your weapon smithing or your gunsmithing uh, skill. Uh, there we go, it's level 13 now. And it actually does it rather fast to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. Uh, this iron garden hole, we definitely don't need, but what we do need is we need some leather. We need some pipes. I think we have some leather and pipes down here. We do, here we go. We have uh, animal hide, leather, pipes. Oh, look at that. We have we have lots of materials. So I'm, I wanna make four forges. So we're gonna go ahead and look up bellows. Shit, you know what, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this in the workbench here. Yeah, there we go. That'll save us some time. And then take out this random crap that's in here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, because it won't come up naturally, right? We're going to search bellows. I do believe, I think I have enough stuff on us to build it. Oh, wait, maybe not. Uh, wood. Oh, der. <laughs> I put the wood away. All right, let's grab some wood here. Oh, wow, we already have a full stack in there. And we will search bell again. Here we go. Bell done. Bellows. Now, you see, in this update, they added bellows out of animal hide or leather, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, so we're going to use up our animal hide, make one, and then hopefully we have enough to make three more of these. One, two, three. Bam, just like that. There we go. So we'll have four forges going. Uh, now, for the forges themselves, I do believe I need stone. So we're going to go forge. F-O-R-G-E. Nice. And we need three of these. So we're going to need stone, clay, and we still have the pipes. So we're good to go there. Awesome. Bam. Now, we are still a little low on stone. Um, I didn't end up mining as much stone as I, I would hope. Um, now, I, I still do prefer going and mining up boulders, like, big time over top of anything else. I'm going to go ahead here, wait for these bellows to finish, and then uh, make the forges. And then I'll probably head out to, on my mini bike to actually hit up some uh, some boulders, guys. Uh, but I'll see you here once I got all these forges done. Oh, and another thing I'd like to clarify as well, too, guys. In Alpha 15, you can make hops. Uh, for beer, but unfortunately you get that recipe from the trader and I do believe in survival You cannot get the the hops recipe yet So I, I did misinform you guys on that one when I said earlier the other day that we could make hops I totally forgot the trader wasn't a thing and it was locked behind the trader Because uh, yeah, I don't think I don't I don't think you can we can make hop seeds. Uh, let's let's search this up That'll give us our um yeah, we can't make hop seeds. Okay, so they don't show up, so we can't make them. That is unfortunate. Uh, but with the next update, hopefully we get those traders and stuff, and then you can make hops. Um, traders do have their use in that function, but that's about it. I just, I honestly hate being forced to run to the trader all the time to get stuff that you should be able to find in the world. Um, like the stainless steel polish. That, that annoys the hell out of me because it gives it to you in such low amounts and at such a high cost. But zombies do much more um, block damage. I don't know if they increased the block damage yet on console, but in Alpha 15 what they did was they increased the zombies block damage and then it forced you to have to upgrade to that steel. So yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of that and I think that's what really turned me off to the traders. Um, but I'm sure you guys will love the traders for a few months and then you'll be like, fucking trader, I have to go back to the trader again? You guys will, you guys will get it. You'll get there eventually. Anyways, let's get back to work. Okay, so those forges should be done now. Let's go up and look. I got carried away again and I was hitting stuff. Uh, but let's go look. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking in the forge for a forge. What a genius I am. Ah, sweet. So we have four forges done. So now, 
We're going to go and we're going to put these in the forge room below. We're not going to fire them up quite yet because I want to get Horde Knight done with. Um, I don't want to be dealing with Screamers while I'm expanding the Horde Knight base. I wouldn't make very much sense, right? Because then I'd be more busy killing zombies and actually getting ready for Horde Knight. You never want that. It's so much work. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, place down four forges in here. It doesn't really matter where. I can pick these up at a later point in time if I want to like do up this room a little more. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do is this forge here. This forge will be used for all my iron stuff. So what I'll do is I'll pump my iron and my, um, my clay into this one. And this one here will be for my brass and my lead and my specialty stuff like glass and whatnot to, um, to make glass. Uh, and this one, these last two here, what I'll do is I'll pump these ones full of stone and use them to make my cement. So I'll have separate forges for separate things. That way, if I need cement and I need some steel, I can make both at the same time and then not have to worry because my horde base should take care of the screamers that are actually up above it. So there we go, guys. We got a forge room going. Uh, we got some other stuff going on. I think we got a lot done this episode. Farming and forging, guys. That's what, we, that's what we've done. Anyways, oh wait, you know what? Let's go upstairs and uh, check on our farm here and see if it's grown. Yep, we definitely haven't grown, guys. But uh, next episode here, uh, while I'm working on the horde base, uh, this should grow so we can actually come back and uh, take a look at it and see how well the farm did. Uh, but anyways, guys, as usual, stay classy, always survive, and I'll see you in the next episode. And guys... I do want to thank you as well, too, for helping make my channel successful. Uh, by watching those commercials, you, you do help pay for the ability to, to sink four or five, six hours of time just into recording a day. And then a whole bunch of hours in doing servers and then other stuff as well, too. Much appreciated, guys. Also, for those um, who share and like and add, their, add this video to their playlist, you guys are freaking amazing. Have a good one, guys. Stay classy. Peace out.